various types of organisms have evolved throughout the history of the Earth. The variety of species present on the planet is diverse, and more and more species are still being discovered yearly. Biodiversity describes the variety of life on Earth. It can be described according to the different levels of organization. In this video lesson, we will discuss the importance of biodiversity. Specifically, we will explain the advantage of high biodiversity in maintaining the stability of an ecosystem. The three prominent levels of biodiversity are genetic diversity, ecosystem diversity, and species diversity. The genetic material of organisms is the dioxyribonucleic acid or DNA. It dictates how an organism should look like and how it should function. Genetic diversity refers to the variety of genes within a single species. Genetic diversity is important for species to adapt to a constantly changing environment. Ecological diversity refers to the difference among the components and processes in an ecosystem. The Philippines' ecosystem diversity is considered high since the country has rainforests, vast grassy plains, marine and freshwater habitats, and temperate uplands. Having a high ecosystem diversity is preferable since it suggests high diversity for lower levels as well. One basic unit of biological classification is an organism's species. A species is defined as the group of organisms that can interbreed. The species diversity of a community can be described based on the number of species present or its richness or its evenness or the abundance of each of these species relative to each other. To further understand how organisms behave and interact with their surroundings, a standardized model of identification and classification is needed. A taxonomic concept of Carlos von Linnaeus places each organism in a series of hierarchically arranged categories. The taxonomic ranks are accordingly arranged as kingdoms, phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species. Biodiversity is not only used to describe the variety of life on Earth. It is also used to indicate how healthy an ecosystem is. A high biodiversity indicates a stable and healthy ecosystem since it can support a high number of ecosystems and species in terms of type, abundance, and genetic resources. On the other hand, Low biodiversity means that there are relatively fewer species abundance and number in an ecosystem. It also indicates that the food webs present are relatively simpler. A stable ecosystem is also usually a resilient ecosystem. The resilience of an ecosystem is usually an indicator of how quickly an ecosystem can recover after a disturbance. Humans greatly benefit from biodiversity. Aside from providing oxygen, plants also provide food, shelter, medicine, and natural defenses against calamities. Organisms are also valued for their roles when it comes to sustaining ecosystems. Plants, usually shrubs or trees, are vital in holding soil and soil water with their roots. It provides natural defenses against calamities like landslides, extreme wind surges, and resource contamination. The medical and pharmaceutical industries also rely on a variety of organisms. Many plants are widely used as well as medicines, especially before the boom of Western medicine. Several human activities are considered as threats to the biodiversity. For instance, habitat loss and destruction is the main factor that drives biodiversity loss. Such human activities include deforestation, irresponsible mining, irresponsible fishing practices, and water or land pollution. 
and the conversion of natural ecosystems into agricultural or urban lands. Overexploitation is the overharvesting of resources, biotic and abiotic. It prevents species from growing and reproducing, resulting in a decline of their population. Introduced species can prey upon the native species or outcompete them in obtaining resources such as water, minerals, and space. Introduced species can also bring unfamiliar diseases, disrupt important ecological interactions, and modify habitats. Introduction of invasive species of organisms in an ecosystem affects the native species of the habitat. And lastly, global climate change has transformed environmental conditions which include the imbalanced rise and loss of water in different regions. This has led to the decline of species and populations as they are unable to relocate and adapt to these drastic new conditions. Biodiversity conservation is a discipline which focuses on solutions which should properly manage and conserve biospheres with the goal of maintaining the sustainability of human populations. It refers to the protection, reinforcement, and management of biodiversity. What are your ways to ensure the resilience of ecosystems considering the negative effects of humans on the environment? Let me know in the comment section below. If you like more science videos, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thank you and always remember that you are all awesome.